547, and now it's time for Talking with Joe, Training Camp 2019. Joe Rose is live from Dolphins Training Camp in Davie this morning. And Joe, we finally know which quarterback has the upper hand at this point. It's still early over at Dolphins Camp. Ryan Flores, the head coach, said that Ryan Fitzpatrick is leading the way in the QB battle right now over Josh Rosen. Joe, what does this mean for this battle? What do you think? And could Flores just be saying this to sort of light a fire under Rosen, sort of inspire him to step up his game a little bit? Well, right now it's not even close. Ryan oh, wow. Fitzpatrick <laughs> is the best quarterback. Uh, the chemistry he has with the players, he's taken over uh, the leadership of this team. He's been around. He, he's got great chemistry with the whole group. So, and he's making a lot of throws. He's got all that experience. He's been on teams. He, he's seen it all. So, yeah, he's way out in front right now. Now, listen, I don't want people to read into that like Josh Rosen's going to sit at the end of the bench all year because that's not going to be the case. He's going to be playing at some point. I still believe that. Part of this could be motivation for Josh to keep working and, and, and look at some of the things, not just in the huddle, but some of the things that you see Fitzpatrick do that draw the guys together, to get the guys to, to back you the way Ryan Fitzpatrick, who's had great chemistry with players everywhere he's been, so it's just something, it's early in camp. I'm not reading into any of the changes, who's one, who's two. We got a good full month. Heck, we haven't even had a preseason game yet, but they will be on CBS before we get into all that stuff. <laughs> we like that, Joe. And I also like to hear about a QB that's a motivator and a leader. That's good to see, but like you said, hopefully he inspires Rosen to, right. to get that's a little right. bit of that as that's well. Right. All right, the offensive line, it has a new leader, a new coach, Woo. some changes already. Dave DeGuglielmo led his first practice yesterday as the line coach and already making some changes. Some of the tweets I was seeing, some people were saying they like what they saw. Players swapped around, playing new positions, and it seemed like it was some good things happening. Joe, what's your interpretation of the changes? Well, it is weird to see an offensive line coach get fired after four days. Mm -hmm. it, it, it's, it's something. We've seen it all around here. That's a new one. But I will tell you, you look at the energy level yesterday, everybody pretty much got called out on it. They made three changes on their offensive line. One I've been talking about is Michael Dieter. He goes back in from, he's got a long way to go to the starting left guard. So long way to go with the old coach, the starting left guard now. He gets pulled in there. I, I think that's one to, to really keep an eye on. They did make three changes. Jesse Davis went from right guard out to right tackle, which tells me not real happy with what's going on at right tackle. There's a lot of work, but I do like, I'm with you. Yesterday, were a lot of guys going, this is ridiculous. We're going to get after these guys. They came out, really got after it yesterday. Like, like you know, you get called out a little bit. And you see it and you're aware of it. There's a lot of pride here. So that was a good start to it. But we got a long way to go with this topic that we have that's a broken record. <laughs> we got to put our offensive line together again. So here we go. All right, Joe. Let's see if they can do it this time with some new leadership. Joe, thank you so much. We will talk to you Lauren, in the next hour. Great. Great being with you. Thank Always, you. Always, Joe. Bye-bye. Okay, and we are so looking forward to the preseason opener. It's just over a week away. The Dolphins will host the Atlanta Falcons on Thursday, August 8th. It all gets underway with a pregame show at 7, followed by kickoff at 7.30, only right here on CBS4, the official home of the Miami Dolphins.